So this question is a diagram question, and really any question that provides some visual input, I call a diagram question. Obviously, more specifically, this is a table question. So the table here, um, or really with any diagram question, I like to take a few seconds just to see if I understand the diagram. Um, so let's take a second to see if we understand what's going on in this table. So we have these columns, right? So the first column is of x value, so we have 1 through 5. And then we have w of x and t of x, right? Which basically means when x is 1, w of x is negative 1. When x is 1, t of x is negative 3. So it feels like, a, you know, like the table is pretty straightforward. It doesn't seem tricky at all. So let's go to the actual question now. The table above shows some values of the functions w and t. For which value of x is w of x, I'm going to just write this down, w of x plus t of x equal to x. Okay, so um, we have four options, so we know that the answer can't be five, right, because that's not an option. So with a question like this, we have to really just try, pretty much try everything. So I'm going to start with choice A. So choice A is where x is equal to 1, right? So again, w of 1. So basically what we're trying to find is, is it true that w of 1 plus t of 1 is equal to 1? Well, let's see. So w of 1 is negative 1, right? That's the first thing that we pointed out here. t of 1 is negative 3, so it'll be a plus negative 3. And that is not equal to positive 1. So choice A is gone. Okay, so I'm just going to do that for the rest of these. Choice B, we'd have W2 is 3 plus T of 2 is negative 1, and that is equal to 2. So that is true, right? So my X is 2 in this case, and yes, when I add W of 2 plus T of 2, I also get an answer of 2, which is exactly what I was trying to find. So therefore, the correct answer here is choice B.